welcome to Encounters. I'm Deborah Bear with Vessels of Honor Worldwide. And today we have a guest that I am just highly, I highly respect her. She is such an awesome woman of God. And um, welcome to the set, Opal. <laughs> well, you know, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be well, with I'm you. Well, I'm excited, but I want to share a, your bio right okay. quick with, with a viewing audience. Okay. It says, Opal Dalton was saved when not quite 12 and baptized with the Holy Ghost at the age of 30. She has been married 54 years to high school sweetheart Don Dalton. Opal is honored to be a mother of five children, nine grands and six grands with number seven on the way. Wow! Uh -huh. <laughs> she was an entrepreneur and business owner for many years prior to answering the call to full-time ministry in 1991. She has served in various ministry assignments since the age of 12 when she was assigned as a teacher to the card class at the small church she attended. Opal has hosted and produced of television and radio programs and numerous events, retreats, and meetings since she and her husband Don D. Company founded Flying Higher Ministries in 1993. I love that name of that ministry, mm -hmm. Flying Higher Ministries. Thank you. <laughs> she and Don have served as co-pastors and mentors for many years. Opal is the founder of Stepping Out Blessed Ministries and Outreach of Flying High Ministries. The Stepping Out Blessed team is available to minister at, at any events and conferences. She, along with her husband Don, presently are mentors at the Praise Place in Corrington, Tennessee, which, which is an Outreach of Flying High Ministries. Don and Opal make themselves to available to serve wherever and however the Lord leads and opens the door. And you can contact them at P.O. Box 162, Corrington, Tennessee. 37721. I love that name, Flying High Ministries. If you, and I've witnessed myself, uh, you know, the many, many avenues that the ministry you've done. And, and God just imparts so many gifts on you, oh, Opal. Well, thank you. Well, share a little just, bit about your ministry more uh, with well, us. Well, I would like to share with, uh, with Flying High Ministries that, um, you know, Don and I almost divorced after 28 years of marriage. Mm -hmm. We had just really lost communication with each other. He, with his business, my, me with my business, uh, kind of going two different directions a lot. Mm -hmm. And so when we put our marriage and we decided, no, we're not going to let this happen. Right. Uh, we're going to rebuild our marriage. You know, it's, it's sort of like a fresh start starting all over. Uh, the Lord placed it in our heart. Uh, the, to have a, a television ministry and we right. had radio ministry before and so he placed in our heart and there was some people that wanted to support and they've been telling me for four years we would like to support you need to get out what's in you pour it out and share it and we'd like right. to support a television yes. ministry and so uh, so finally Don and I decided we would after we got through you know uh, rebuilding our our marriage our friendship everything about our marriage we just we just worked on us you mm -hmm. know let God work on us so then we uh, I said to the Lord I said okay we've you know we won't do it unless we have supporters right. and he raised up this couple plus two more and they paid the beginning our, our beginnings in television ministry and I said, well, we have to have the name. We don't do anything without God naming it. And I was praying. And I was just laying across the bed, and I saw an eagle flying. Wow. And it said, flying higher on the screen. Mm -hmm. And so that Dawn sang that song. That was our theme song for a long time, higher than I've ever been. And so I, it was like, you know, you can fly higher. You can soar. Mm -hmm. You can soar again. You may have a broken wing, but you can fly again right. and you can learn to soar yes. and let God yes. carry you. And that was how flying higher came about. Right. Well, you know, when the eagle, he flies against a, a, the yes. wind, lets the wind carry him. Lets him carry, So yes. ma no matter what the storm That's right. in our life, no matter. Uh, yes. we allow the storm to come because we right. have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. To help us and to care us. And Praise thank, God. Yeah, and that strengthened our marriage also in that we shared. Mm -hmm. We were very transparent and we shared how the enemy had come in and how he had attacked us, you know. And you, you see there, we've got, uh, we had two small grandchildren at that time. Mm -hmm. And now we have the nine, our oldest grandchild is uh, 30, and we have. Uh, nine grandchildren plus the six great grands wow. which if we had divorced and we had went our separate ways I'm not saying we couldn't have 
you know, had a good life or God couldn't have done things with us. But now we get together and we've still got our family Amen. is intact. And I look Praise every God. time I just rejoice within myself that we didn't let the devil defeat us, especially right. when I see family right. together. And, you know, that it's because you did have the encounters with God. Encounters. It did take a lot of encounters <laughs> take, for both it, of it us. It a lot of encounters. You <laughs> right. know, sometimes we think things, you know, should just be just so smooth sailing. Right. But it's through those hard times yes, it that is. we grow right. if we persevere. Right. A lot of times we feel like that we're stuck yes. in the valley. Yeah. But in the valley is when we grow. Yes, it is. And I, I've learned that early on in my life. And today's program is talking about an encounter with a healing God. Oh, praise God. So praise we're going God. to turn to Scripture in Mark. It's the fifth chapter, I believe. And we're all familiar. I think we've all heard this story before. Yes. But, Opal, if you will, you just read, read the story for us, okay? Okay. Okay, Mark 5 and 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind, and touched his garment. Mm -hmm. For she said, If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Praise God. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. Mm -hmm. And the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. She had sought. Can you imagine mm. going through something for years, years. and years? Yeah. Twelve years. Right. My goodness. I know. How many of us have had an illness? You know, it, it may be a virus or something, right. but you know, we. You know, and we're sick. We're desperately right. sick. But how many of us give up and praying and seeking That's God? Right. This woman had this plague yes, for 12, 12 years. years after doing everything she could with Every, man. Right. right. Uh, we do that often, don't we? Yes, we do. We yes, often, we, we do. We often uh, seek solutions in other areas right. before right. we go t to uh, the encounter with God. Yes. But yes. she, uh, have you ever experienced something like that? Where, where I did. And I, I am the little woman in Mark 5. Mm -hmm. I had an issue of blood for 11 years and 11 months. Mm -hmm. And I was diagnosed in February of 1965 with a dead kidney. And mm -hmm. they said there was nothing they could do. And it created uh, problems for me. And I, I was pregnant with my third child when they diagnosed it. And, you know, the surgery, you had to be cut, you know, half open mm -hmm. on that. I didn't think I could have this surgery to take, remove the kidney, the dead kidney. So I dealt with this for 11 years and 11 months. Wow. And I had an encounter with God in a little upper room uh, where uh, a minister, he was a lady minister, was ministering. We had come back from Florida, and I had suffered with this. Been to doctors, emergency rooms, all kinds of medicines, mm -hmm. nothing. It would, it, it would get worse at times, and then it would get a little better, but never stopped. You know, it was the whole time. And so uh, we went to this meeting, and it was on a Sunday afternoon in January, the third Sunday night of January of 1976. You never forget the day, do you? Never forget <laughs> the day. Never forget the day with this encounter. It was awesome. And I was in such pain that night. And we were praising the Lord. I was standing up, praising the Lord. And the pastor was, she was laying in under a real heavy anointing in the floor. And she said, someone here needs an organ. There was probably 125, 150 wow. people there. I ran up there. I knew she did not know anything mm -hmm. about me needing a kidney. And I ran up there, and she had her hand up, and she said, just take my hand. And she said, thou art receiving. That is everything she said. 
Wow. You talk about an encounter. I hadn't been used to being slain in the spirit, laying under. Uh, that was all, you know. Three words. She three spoke, words. Thou art receiving. Thou art receiving. Oh, wow. And I felt this go in my body, this warm feeling. And I felt like a hand go inside of me. That's what it, it felt like, the fingers of the hand. And come back out. And when I felt that, and, you know, when I was able to get up, then I told what was it was mm -hmm. and what the diagnosis had been. And this is all documented from 1965 that this happened to me. And then in 1976 is when I was healed. Um, but I went, she said, go to the bathroom and see. It had stopped. It stopped. Wow. I knew Praise I was God. touched. I knew I was healed. Hallelujah. And I walked in that and confessed it for 40 years. This year, I have walked in it in 40 years. This year, you know, I had gallbladder surgery. Mm -hmm. So many were saying, well, you got a new kidney. Why can't you get a new gallbladder? I mean, get, yeah, or get it, God remove it. Mm -hmm. I said, he could. I don't know. I don't know why. But I, I had peace to have the surgery. And in the process, they did a, son, a, a CT scan, mm -hmm. ultrasound and CT scan. And guess what I had? Two perfectly normal kidneys. Oh, wow. Praise God. Well, I mean, I've the Lord yeah, hand on that. Right. <laughs> So that was, um, I've had so many encounters, but Utah, that was an encounter, oh, yes. and it lasts oh. when he touch you, yes. and he does something, it lasts. You know, the Lord, all he has to do is speak the That's word. That's right. That is right. And, you know, how powerful do we, how, do we realize how powerful no, I don't. his word mm -hmm. is that when he just I speaks it, I, I don't think we do either. Mm -hmm. This woman, I mean, having done all, it says. Yeah, having done all. She, she was determined. Right. So, in that time, she wasn't supposed to be out even no, in public. No, she wasn't. Because it was against the law. Yes, it was. So, I mean, but she persevered, and right. she had made up her mind, all right, that's, you know, enough is enough. Uh, that's right. <laughs> you know, enough and, and enough. she, I, I can just picture mm -hmm. in my mind's eye her pushing She's people pushing. aside. She had to. She was pressing right. forward, pushing forward, you know, getting through the crowd, yes. and just thinking the whole time, if I can just touch... No, the hem of his right, garment. Right. Just one touch. Just one touch. One touch. That's all yes. it takes. It's just one touch. One touch. Oh, one oh. touch. That's, and, that's right. how and you know, he realized he that knew. virtue went out. He from knew him. when it happened. Who had touched just me? Just like she said to me, thou art receiving. She right. knew that was that God right. was touching. It wasn't her. Praise it was God. God. And she couldn't have known what I needed. Nobody, basically, we didn't know the people in the church at yes. that time. That was a, we'd come back from Florida. That was a new thing. Uh, and we had visited there before we went to Florida. Mm -hmm. But when we moved back, you know, they didn't know anything about us, about mm. my health or anything. Right. But, you know, when you talk about her pressing through, you know, she knew that, can you imagine her going out knowing that the the Levitic in the law it said that whoever touched a woman mm -hmm. had to wait at, all day and at, at night time mm -hmm. they washed their hands or whatever. Right. But she lived like this 12 mm -hmm. years. Uh, she couldn't really be a mama. Mm -mm. She couldn't touch him. She couldn't cook food. If she had a husband, she couldn't couldn't be with her husband. She was unclean. Mm -hmm. But she also knew that if anybody touched her they would be unclean right but yet she heard that he oh. would heal now can you imagine her saying I've got to have this but if he touches me he's going to be unclean mm. can you imagine battles going on right. in, her in, mind? Your, in your mind so she said if I could just touch his garment uh-huh uh-huh she had that Praise kind God. of faith but he felt but he, he felt, felt it he knew yes but still that healing virtue. The right? healing that virtue. Was that was right that encounter with that healing right. God. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, we've all, I believe we've all experienced it. We, we just I don't realize, so. we don't realize sometimes the battle that's going on in the supernatural we realm no. for our behalf. Right. And I, I often remember a story, uh, well, it's not a story, it's a true story, but uh, years ago, I had a tumor and, uh, and I'd had it uh, oh, about three years. And it was just, um, I was so much pain. And we went to this service. It was in Nashville, Tennessee, at a revival there. And the minister was preaching. I mean, um, there was revival going. I mean, the Holy Ghost uh -huh. was just moving. You just could feel the presence of God. And the preacher was, you know, he was excited. He was coming down the aisles right. preaching stuff. And all of a sudden, he just stopped and turned to me. He said, be thou whole. Oh, praise the Lord. Three words. <laughs> Three words. And I felt, I felt this pressure. Mm. 
and I went uh, I went into the restroom just like you did right. uh, but when when I went into the restroom the tumor fell out Oh, hallelujah. That's but awesome. It fell out. That is and, you know, awesome. I mean, God, God's so powerful. Yes, he and, is. And I've had many instances in yes. my life, many encounters yes. like that yes. throughout my life. And I never, ever want to fail to give God I the don't praise either. for it. Oh, I Lord, don't either. Because each time we give him praise for what he's done for us, it's a testimony. Yes, what does it is. the Word of God say? We are overcomers yes. by the blood of the Lamb Amen. and by our testimony. Yes, we are. Praise yes, God. We are. I mean, we, that should excite us. So Amen. the more God does for us, ladies, right. the more God does for you. Right. Testify yes. to the goodness of God. That is right. Yes. You know, we were talking recently. I was talking with, with Sister Linda. She was on the previous program. She's the yes. co-host of the program. And uh, we were talking uh, about that sometimes we give more time to the enemy. You ask mm -hmm. someone to give a testimony, right. and they spend, you know, maybe uh, that's 10 right. minutes giving, yeah. you know, time to the devil. That's right. And give the Lord like three seconds. Uh, and the Lord healed me. I Amen. know. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> if it be thy will. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but, you know, I, I don't want to uh, give the enemy any will. more territory than no, he's already taken. That's right. We have given so much. Yes, we Ter have. Of the territory that God has placed yes. us in. I'm reminded of the scripture where he says, where the soles of our feet touch. That's right. We can claim, we that, can territory claim that territory. Yes, we Lord. can. Praise yes, God. Praise that, God. It, it, it excites me. It, <laughs> you know, God wants our life to be uh, this journey. Mm -hmm. We're on a tour of earth, you know. Mm -hmm. We're strangers passing through. We're just here visiting. Yes. And he wants it to be so enjoyable. He wants us to enjoy our life. Mm -hmm. And we can be up and about the Father's business and enjoy every day. We just yes. need Him to lead God and direct us. That's just right. have Him as our Lord. Follow His direction yes. constantly. Yes. Right. You know, not, not be moved by, by what others say. Not no. be moved by our circumstances. That's right. Only be moved by what the Word of God says about That's your right. circumstance. That is right. You know, I stand on that. And I, and I believe I had said in one of your programs, uh, recently that, you know, if we have the mind of Christ, right. the heart of Christ, and yes. the vision of Christ, yes. everything would just work out so smoothly. It will smoothly. all be all right. If we would it. seek, you know, to have those three right. things in our That's life. Right. Those encounters. Uh, those, um, there's so many different counters, encounters that we can have with God yes. if we would just seek after Him. If we would, yeah. That's I it. Think Take we a get, time. Mm -hmm. Wait for it. We get so caught up in uh, yes. uh, the busyness of things. Um, even in ministry, we do sometimes. We do. I had to take some time off sometime because one time because uh, you know I was getting so caught up in being busy in ministry right. that I was um, well. In effect, what was happening was uh, that uh, I wasn't spending my alone time. I wasn't right. having my encounter time right. with the Lord. So we have to be careful. We do, and we have to learn to discern things. Because we serve such a great, mighty, powerful yes, God, I never ever want to fail Him. No, but He no. loves He loves us so much. I, right. you know, throughout the Scripture, you know, uh, there's a story about Jairus, his daughter, right. the, the many encounters of yes. healing yes. that went through the Word of God, Amen. and and the time that you know He came and He uh, He said, "Lazarus, come yes. forth." Yes. What three words? Yeah, Lazarus. <laughs> just like you had right. three, three, three words. words. I yeah. mean, it's it's you know it's in yeah. the word. I mean, it's in the word. It is. <laughs> Praise it's God. It's in the word of God. I don't know how much plainer I can make that. No. It's in. Yes, the it word. is. The yes, answer is. to every single problem Everything. that you may have, mm -hmm. every question that you may have, yeah. it's right here in this word. Yes, it is. Praise God. Praise you God. Know, and, and if you don't have a uh, the word of God in your home, hey, contact us. We'll send you that's the word. That's right. We want yes. you to have an encounter. Praise yes. God. Amen. I mean, that, Amen. That's our desire to yes, see others is. have those encounters. Yes, it is. And go out Amen. and minister. Oh, and yes. go out. We all have a testimony. Yes. We all can have something to say. Right. You don't have to dwell on what you're going to say. No. Uh, we were talking about this the other uh, night, I think. Take no thought for, for right. the very hour what you're going to say. Right. Just open your mouth and let God let feel God it. Let God feel it. Amen. That's right. Because when we have the encounter and when we're praying and we're fasting, that he's, His Word teaches us. Right. Every time, I, I don't know about you, but every time I, uh, I read the Word of God, you know, I ask the Lord to... Uh, let it seep in my heart oh, and take yeah. root in my heart. Yes. I believe it was Sister Faye who had said something earlier this morning or last night about 
she anoints her mind for her thoughts as she reads the, mm, when she reads good, the word. Yes. And you know that's a good idea. That is a good because idea. because we serve such a powerful enemy. Well, yeah, I mean, we, well we give him more power than he we really him, has. Yeah. But the enemy will do anything he can. Yes, he will. To destroy and steal that seed that yes, is implanted in your mind and in your heart. Yes. What's this, what does this uh, word say? It says a. Uh, some fall by the wayside, right. you know, uh, some on stony places, yes. you know, the birds will come and try to steal it where the bird represents the enemy, right. uh, whoever it may come through. Right. The enemy will choose to use whoever he yes. sees fit and if they, will, if they allow will, him. They will let him. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we, as uh, women of God, right. that we have to be aware of daily. Lord, uh, don't let this vessel right. be used for anything that's anything. unpleasing that's to right. you. That's right. I w uh, we want to prepare the way for others. Yes, yes. We want to disciple others. Amen. We want to show them the way to Christ. We want yes. to, you know, just as uh, we were talking earlier about Peter, you know, they could he could have listened to everything. That's right. That, you know, the others were saying. Mm -hmm. That's right. Too many people want to stay in the boat. That's right. Yeah. You know, for fear. And don't want us to get out. They don't, right. They don't. <laughs> That's true. That's true. They don't. <laughs> and, I, uh, and it's because uh, they don't know what to expect. It's right. like, what if I fail? Right. What if I say the wrong, wrong yeah. thing? What if I offend someone? If you're ministering the Word of God, mm -hmm. and if you've been having encounters with God, and He's speaking to you to yes. say something, you're not going to say anything. No, I mean, that's you can't. Right. You can't apologize for the Word. No, we can't. No, we no. cannot. No. Mm -hmm. So that, that's you know that's what you know we strive to do. Right. And we want to people to know that. Uh, it's our desire. Yes. Yes, it is. And to see them. And yes. to see others come uh, into their place. Yeah, and mentor others. Right. You know, we, uh, we, I think we've gotten, a, church has gotten away from mentoring. That's, and I think God, you know, he put us back in this place. And we kept saying, God, uh, I feel like God did do that. Mm -hmm. You know, we were out, and I'm not saying we won't have a building back in the city or something, but God named the place where we are, the praise place, back in 1991, mm -hmm. May of 1991. And he said, this place should be called the praise place. And it was where I was raised, where mm -hmm. I was born, and everything. And so uh, when the church sold that we were mm -hmm. uh, meeting in, we have never looked for a building. We just, God's always led us into something, and it just happened, right. you know. And I was going up and down the streets because of the people. I was thinking, you know, they don't want to go out to the country. And right. uh, we don't really have a building. We've got a barn. If anybody would like to come and help us fix this barn, we'll have a barn church. Okay. Well, <laughs> we just need some volunteers and materials. Hey. <laughs> and uh, But that's possible. And you can it's worship beautiful. him anywhere. You can worship him anywhere. Praise God. And so I, but God, you know, he just kept showing us that it's not the number, but you actually mentor and you pour out of you everything mm -hmm. that's in you. And, of course, he'd already led me to do the television program, you know, get it back on mm -hmm. the air, the Stepping Out Blessed with Opal Dalton and Friends. And that was right before that the building sold, or right, right about that time. So what we're doing is that's what Don and I feel that we're there for. You know, yes, we're yes. 72, 73. God could, he could do it again if he wants us to yeah. be in a building that's open till it sells. We've done that. There's you know, no boundaries, whatever. no There's age no limits, limit. no yeah. boundaries. It's through God. Right. But if he doesn't want us, if he wants us to have a building out there and just mentor small groups, you know, have conferences, whatever he wants us to do, we are available. And Amen. the property's available to do it on. Right. And so we're just saying, okay, Lord, you know, just if we can pour out and share with someone, I don't want to take this to heaven with me, you know. Right. I want to pour it out here and right. share with others. You know, we pour, um, when you pour out so much. Right. You've got to be poured back into. And but, that's right. And that's where the encounter comes that's in. That's <laughs> where we go back. Just like at your retreat and Sandy Simpson's retreat. I'm going to, this year I've got two, one retreats. month and then the next. Yes, conferences and retreats. And that, I think we need to do that. We yes. need to pull aside and get filled back up. God's getting ready to do uh, new yes. things. Yes, he Some is. More, uh, different things that you know we've not been accustomed to. I often say that... Uh, the message doesn't uh, uh, change, right, right. but the packaging might change. Sometimes it changes. And sometimes it changes. Yes. But we need to stand firm and not be moved and not change the Word of God. No, uh, no. Just because we don't like something, that you know, uh, that's a sure sign that we're under conviction. Right, that's <laughs> Because right. Uh, we need to have an encounter. Yes, we do. But uh, I see often... Some will read a scripture and they'll stop and not read the rest right. of it because they don't you know that that next part right. kind of bothers them. That's they right. have a problem with it. 
But that's where we should pray and lift one another up. Right. And encourage one yes, another. Yes, we should. You don't see it a lot. You don't see a lot of people encourage one another. Now, in, in, you know, amongst our groups and right. stuff, we see it. Right. But, you know, I hear of so many people that are so discouraged. I know. So and, broken, hurt, and broken, wounded. And they've lost yes. their joy mm -hmm. and, and uh, those types of things. And God's people needs to be joyful. Yes, we do. How are we to be a powerful witness no. if uh, we don't show the joy of the no. Lord? That's right. We've got to show the joy yes. of the Lord. We've Amen. got to share And that's with our the Lord. strength. That's our strength, too. Yes, yes. Be doing what God wants us to do. Yes, Amen. I've enjoyed having you with us I've so much I've enjoyed being today. here so much. It's, a, I, it's I always, just so good to see you every time I get to see yeah. you. All the vessels. It's just such yes, an honor yes. and privilege to be with you we all. We have such an awesome group, awesome yeah, team. Yes, God has yes. truly blessed me with that. And, you know, and, and we lift you up constantly Well, in we prayer. appreciate that. And we yeah. do, you know, we, they, our team thinks of uh, vessels. And you've been down to when we had the church three years in a row, you came. Mm -hmm. And then this year we did yes. what we did on yes. television. <laughs> so we did a program. Amen. <laughs> I mean, Amen. three, five programs on yeah. TV. Yeah, that's all. Which you know, is on YouTube. It's a platform that God opened up. That's right. I believe in stepping up. And uh, right. when God opens the platform. Yes. To step up. And one thing leads to another. Yeah. Like now yeah. you're here doing this. And, you know, at, at the Ark Studio, I mean, they're so awesome, you know, to be able uh, to be here. Yes, and they've just worked with us and it. blessed us to do, the, you know, I be was, able to come I was, out and do I this. I was saying earlier, you know, they make things so easy. They do. They make they you feel do. so comfortable. Yes. And, of course, when you've got this kindred spirit, you know, working together, God just puts it all together. Yes. Let's it flow. Yes. Yes. I, we just uh, appreciate them so much. It's yes. just God. He does miraculous things for us. He does. He, he does. I, he I just does. trust in him. But, you know, he always knows what he's doing. He does. On our next program, uh, we're going to uh, have two ladies. Uh, well, Sister Linda's going to be one of them. Another lady that, you know, I'll introduce. But she, uh, uh, she, she's been my mentor. She was my district oh. youth leader growing up. Oh. Powerful woman of God. But uh, we're going to be discussing encounters through the Word of God. Praise the Lord! I know it will be great. Yes, I, I will. You know, when you when women get together, you yes. just love talking about the Lord. I know, and and, yes. and sharing the gospel. And I, yeah, you know, I just want to encourage others out yes. there today. Just keep your faith in God. Trust in Him to know that He's He knows yes. what He's doing. Speak the word only. Yes. Think the word only. Because when we do those things, when we follow Christ, when we follow His Word, He will come through. You will see the fruition yes. of His promise in your life if you've been waiting on something. So trust in God. Continue to walk in love. And you keep your faith. And you can have your encounter with God today. Yes. God bless you.